I'm on, in a field on a farm and I'm surrounded by crops, this yellow stuff, oilseed rape. But it's a crop that's been grown for the oil, not for the food. Nobody's going to eat this. And the reason it's been grown is because we need to start making chemicals from plants and not from oil that we're using at the moment. Now the reason that we can make chemicals from plants is because plants can use the energy from the sun. There isn't much today, but to use the sunlight to capture this carbon dioxide in the air and to change them into organic chemicals with carbon-hydrogen, carbon-carbon bonds. The problem is that crops like this, oilseed rape, this has just been grown for the seeds. And so much of the rest of the plant is wasted. And if we really want to make chemicals on a large scale, we can't just use the seeds. We've got to use it all. Now the challenge for chemists is how do you use the rest of the plant? How can you turn a plant, all this green stuff, into chemicals? Well, there are maybe a few chemicals, like the yellow dye that's making the plants, <coughs> the flowers yellow, that you could actually extract, but there'll only be tiny quantities of these. So you've got to do something much more radical if you're going to get the carbon that has been captured from the air and turn them into chemicals. One thing that you could do is to take the molecules to bits and turn them into hydrogen and carbon monoxide, CO, and then start making the molecules from scratch. But that's an awful waste of energy and you're wasting all the bonds that the plants have made. So chemists are beginning to think how they can take apart the molecules that are in the plants. Most of them are very large molecules, almost like natural plastics, and take them out to smaller pieces that we can use without having to take everything completely to bits so that we can use the cunning chemistry that's in going on inside plants to give us chemicals that we need for everyday life. Plants have evolved to capture carbon dioxide from the air and they can do so not fantastically efficiently but far more efficiently at the moment than we can as chemists. All being well, chemists are going to devise really clever ways in the future but for the moment the simplest way to ca capture carbon dioxide from the air is through plants. And the cunning part will come in designing the catalysts, designing the chemical processes that turn the plant materials into usable chemicals. There are other questions. Can you use the fields that you normally use for growing food for making chemicals. What are people going to eat? So we need to look at plants that grow in areas where it's difficult to grow food so that we can exploit the whole um, area of our countries. But at the same time we have to make sure that the wildlife and the environment are not unduly affected.